Emma, by Jane Austen. What can I say about a novel written by a beloved author whom I despise the most? I have read a lot of Austen novels most under duress for university. And to date I have not liked a single one of them with the exception of Northanger Abbey. But Emma by far was the worse of the lot. It was the longest, the most insipid novel among all of Austen's work. This 400 page book is the equivalent of the office meeting, that could have been an email. But enough griping. Let's get to the story, if you can call it that. Emma, revolves around our eponymous young woman, Emma, as she goes about her life being rich, telling poor people to act rich, even though they don't have the money to do so, and then being shocked when shit hits the fan. Emma, is a busybody who has nothing better to do with her time than meddle in other people's business, trying to set them up, match them together and inevitably failing badly and almost ruining lives. Namely the life of her friend Harriet Smith, who has feelings for a Mr. Martin. Harriet, is an orphan who befriends Emma, after Emma's, governess marries and moves away. They become fast friends as Harriet admires Emma's personality, eloquence, charm, and strength of character poor girl. Never realized what a crock her friend really was. Anyway, Harriet gets proposed to by a farmer, called Mr. Martin whom Harriet adores, but, Emma, hates Martin because he's from a lower social class. Emma, being, an elite snob, and bored asshole, dissuades Harriet from this particular marriage and tries, to set her up with someone else. This particular someone turns out, to be a fellow asshole and Harriet, is left reeling from the fallout. If you thought this synopsis was boring, don't worry, it only gets more dull from there. And Emma, only gets crappier especially when it concerns another character called Jane Fairfax. There are no words in the English language, that describe how badly I want elbow drop this woman in the throat. Luckily there is one in German. Backpfeifengesicht. I give this novel 1 out of 5 stars. You can skip this one.